two areas I'm going to touch on really, are one around employee engagement and then I'm going to talk about legacy Robert. Um, so the first one around employee engagement is literally how do we capture this chance in a lifetime? And how do you look at what the potential implications are around how do your employees get into work and actually do you change the method in which you work during that period and then thereafter? I know in, within Cisco um, we had to look at removing one billion out of costs and half a billion of that had to come out of travel reductions. Um, but strangely enough, we cope with that. We, we adopted things like video and things like WebEx. And actually, after the restrictions, the internal travel restrictions then finished, we then actually started to use that as a behavior. It became part of our working practice. And I think that actually some of these things that you may plan for to allow for this great congestion that may occur during the Olympic period actually then starts to become common working practice. Does your physical network underpin how you'll be able to operate during such a peak period to allow you to be able to transact and allow things like flexible working, working from home. And actually when you start to look after this, one of the trends we're noticing um, as a, a tech provider is this whole thing around bringing your own device. And it'd be interesting to sh have a show of hands within the room here today. How many people here have an iPad or a tablet? Just a show of hands. Yeah, and what that'll do is an ever-increasing trend towards moving towards what we were referring to as the post-PC era. And so when you start to look at these secure networks and these physical networks you're laying down to allow, allow a mobile uh, working environment, what will happen is that your employees and yourself will start to use your iPads, your Blackberry play, uh, playbooks, etc., as your key uh, communication device. And Cisco alone are going to be investing over $500 million over a five-year plan and that will be around things such as the big initiative, the British Innovation Gateway. And this is all around the Olympics and the Paralympics being the platform, the springboard, to accelerate economic growth through the UK economy. I think everyone accepts, and the government's placing a lot of um, uh, uh, emphasis around the growth will come from small to medium businesses, and also the growth will come from the digital Britain and the digital economy. So we need to be providing an infrastructure and an environment where small to, be, small to medium businesses, especially from the tech, um, the tech uh, sector, can start to accelerate away over those next five years. So the types of things we're looking to do are things like um, uh, network academies. So we'll be launching network academies right across the east end of London. The media centre that will be in the Olympic Park will become a, a, a hub, a technical hub. And this is where you're starting to integrate small to medium uh, technical organisations along with entrepreneurs and trying to fuse these together and then we'll start to escalate these hubs across the UK and then we'll build out the hubs um, globally. So you'll start to get a community of small to medium businesses that will actually start to be able to share ideas, share in innovation and, um, and start to accelerate their own businesses. So that's kind of what we're looking across those two areas.